it's Jodie and welcome to a new video. So today I have a super exciting video for you which is quite a random one. I wasn't necessarily planning to do this but I figured I may as well because I have so many packages to unbox. So I figured we'd do a big unboxing video and I love watching these and I just thought it'd be really fun to open all these books on camera with you guys. So I have nine packages here and then I do have another two which is bookish merch which I will also be unboxing towards the end of the video so if you don't want to miss any of that then make sure you do stick around until then. Now this is the amount we are talking here. We are talking a lot. So most of these are from Fairy Loop. They're all books. There are some other ones mixed in. So we have, well, I say all of these from Fairy Loot, they're not. Maybe like a third is from Fairy Loot, a third is from Waterstones, and the rest are kind of miscellaneous ones. Um, so yes, there is a lot to get through, but very, very exciting books. Oh, I can't wait to open these. Oh no. Okay, so I've attempted to take a thumbnail before I film the rest of this video, so hopefully I managed to get one before I open all of these packages. So that's all, it's out of the frame. So let's just get straight into it. So. The first one we have is this fairy loot box. So I believe this is December's box. I could be wrong. I think it is though. So I think this is technically part of my rep era because I'm no longer a rep for fairy loot now, but I think this one might have been while I was a rep. So yes, but I will have fairy loot's website linked down below. I've been a long time subscriber of fairy loot since 2017 now, so I do definitely recommend them and I love them. So yes, this is December's box I believe, which theme I cannot remember. And I see bookends and I'm excited. Oh, okay, I'm spoiling myself for the entire box, but the spoiler card's at the bottom. So December's theme was come one, come all. And this is our spoiler card. It's giving Night Circus vibes. Um, so yeah, here is our spoiler card. So the first item is a book sleeve, which I think is inspired by Caraval. Yeah, so this is a Caraval book sleeve and this is gorgeous. I have not read Caraval yet, but I do plan to read it very soon because I read Once Upon a Broken Heart last year when I got an arc. I was obsessed with it. I loved it. I read it in one sitting and it's definitely made me want to read Caraval. So I do plan to soon. But yeah, this is the a book sleeve here, which is gorgeous. So it does have a quote on it that says, every person has the power to change their fate if they are brave enough to fight for what they desire more than anything. I do really like that quote. So yeah, we have this and then we just have a general design on the back. It has a little zip, which I prefer every time on my book sleeves. And this is one of the like laminate ones. Like I don't know how to describe this material, but this is really good because these are more durable, which I really, really like. So I'm very happy with that because you can never have too many book sleeves. So next we have a face towel. This is inspired by the night circus and it has a quote from it as well i have not read that but look how cute this is like packaged with a little bow on it um so it just has this design underneath which is gorgeous look how pretty that is and the detail as well i love that and i will never say no to a face cloth and this is a really really good material as well so i'm really really happy with that i will definitely use it so next we have some carousel of bookends and these are so pretty so these are black and they have the carousel design on the end i don't know if you're able to see it or not in this lighting um but yeah look how pretty these are i love these because they're so simple just because they're plain black and i use these because i have loads of books on the very top of my bookshelf so i usually use bookends to keep them from falling over so these will definitely come in handy for that and they are absolutely beautiful look at those then we have our collectible mythology bookmark so every so often fairly includes these and these ones are inspired by Aphrodite and Aries and these are beautiful. These are some of my favourite bookmarks ever. I love the other ones I've received so far. This is what they look like. They have gorgeous gold foiling on. How stunning is this artwork? I am obsessed. You all know I love Greek mythology. So yeah, these are the bookmarks and I'm very, very happy with those. This is definitely my favourite one. Okay, and then we have our tarot cards for this month which are inspired by Girls of Paper and Fire. These are beautiful. I love these. I absolutely adore Fairy Loot's tarot cards. Just please give me something to store them in Fairy Loot. Okay, and then lastly, we have the book of the month. And oh my God, I just saw the sprayed edges. And wow. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have our Fairy Loot bag. This book looks like it's going to be gorgeous. So here is our bookmark to match the spoiler card. We have our fairy scoop. We have our character art and letter from the author. And the book is by Margie Fuston. And this is Cruel Illusions, Win or Die. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. Look at this. So it's black with a red foiling all over it. And on the back, it says a deadly competition, a magical secret society, a chance for revenge. But look at those red edges. I'm sorry. 
wow absolutely gorgeous they go all the way around the book like these are so so beautiful i'm obsessed with those straight edges um, so i haven't actually heard anything about this book before but i'm assuming it must be similar to like caraval and the night circus considering the box was like that kind of theme so we do have some character art on the end pages here like this art here on the back end pages which is gorgeous there's no art on the reverse side of the dust jacket and then the naked book has this on it which is so gorgeous i love the simplicity of this but it's still so stunning absolutely obsessed with that that is so gorgeous like look how cute that is and it is signed and it has this really cute little cards here i really really like that oh i just saw the word vampire wow just wow okay <laughs> i'm so excited about this now if it has vampires then yes please it says here caraval meets buffy the vampire slayer in this deliciously dark young adult fantasy from the author of vampires hearts and other dead things which i do own but i have not read yet but i'm going to so i'll quickly read the synopsis so it says ever since a vampire murdered her mother ava has been determined to get revenge but 10 years later having survived foster home after foster home and without a single sighting of a vampire ava has begun to lose hope that is until she stumbles across a hidden magic show where she witnesses impossible illusions the magicians may not be the bloodsuckers she's hunting but ava is convinced something supernatural is afoot when she sneaks backstage to catch them in acts they can't explain, the magicians reveal they're part of an ancient secret society that possesses true magic, and that Ava has the same power in her blood they do. If she joins them and their apprentice, they promise to give her the power she needs to avenge her mother. But there's a catch. If Ava wants to keep the magic they offer, she needs to prove she's worthy of it, and to do so, she must put on the performance of her life in a sinister and dangerous competition where illusion and reality blur, and the only way out is to win or die. This sounds so good. Secret societies, vampires and magicians. Yes, please. I really do hope there is romance in there. I've got a feeling that there isn't, but if there is, I will be very, very happy. This sounds incredible. This book is stunning. I'm so happy with this box. I think my favorite item was probably the bookends because they are just gorgeous. But yeah, I love this beautiful edition of this book as well. Okay, so next we have a Waterstones parcel. So I have pre-ordered a lot of books so i don't know which one it is i know hellbent should be in one of these by lee bardugo and i do think it is that one so this is hellbent by lee bardugo so this is the sequel to ninth house so this is what the cover looks like but the exclusive part of the waterstones we're doing with these sprayed edges which are so cool like i love the snakes amazing and then as well we have some art inside which looks like this here so we have the snake and the rabbit and then under the dust jacket it has this design on it here and then we have this spine which is really really gorgeous i love the snake print here but yeah the waterstone exclusive edition is so cool i love the sprayed edges and this will match my copy of ninth house so yes we have hellbent so this is another waterstones one and i bet this is just another copy of hellbent no me i've probably pre-ordered it like twice okay it isn't this is a different book which is equally as stunning though this one is now she is witch by kirsty logan and this finished copy of this is so beautiful i did receive an arc of this last year but sadly i didn't get to it but i am so excited to read this and i'm obsessed with this cover look how beautiful this is on the back it says you must stay away from the north witches my mother says what we do isn't the same as what those witches do it says here from the snowy winter woods to the bright midnight sun from lost and powerless to finding your path now she is witch conjures a world of violence and beauty a world where women grasp at power through witchcraft sexuality and performance and most of all through throwing each other to the wolves so yeah i'm very excited about this book because anything to do with witches i am instantly intrigued by i love anything to do with witches and witchcraft especially in works of fiction so yeah this cover is also very very gorgeous and i just think this book is going to be so freaking good so yeah we do have my pre-order of now she is witch then we have this one which i know exactly what this is and i am incredibly excited about this book <laughs> And I can't even read it, and you'll see why in a moment. So I saw this originally on TikTok, and I decided to order. So this is a Dutch bookshop, I believe. This is the bookshop here, so this is where I got it from online. And they have wrapped it, which is really, really cute. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, it's so pretty. So this is the Dutch hardcover of Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas and this is limited edition it's black and gold which is beautiful and look at the back but it has sprayed edges i'm sorry but how gorgeous is this and it has a character art inside as well like i'm sorry but 
just wow and there's more at the back like <laughs> i'm just so happy i love this so much so yeah this is all in dutch so i obviously can't read this but i had to get it as soon as i saw it i just had to but there's more so under the dust jacket like i'm sorry how amazing is this obsessed but then the naked book try not to cry right now this is just too gorgeous like look at this how beautiful like this is just so cool like the naked book the art under the dust jacket the art inside like i'm sorry but the uk publishers you need to do your special editions to this standard because this just takes every box like sprayed edges there's even a friggin ribbon bookmark in the book i am absolutely obsessed i'm so happy that i got this like oh i love it so much i was waiting for this and i didn't even know it'd been dispatched so i'm incredibly happy that this has arrived oh i literally have a tear in my eye like that book just brought tears to my eyes because it was that pretty okay so next we have the fairy loot adult book for december so this is when i was a rep so I think this is my last one because I'm still on the wait list for the adult subscription. And apparently I'm also on a wait list to use the scissors because I have lost them. This is the adult book for December and the theme is fairy lore and I know what the book is and I'm very, very excited and happy about it. So I believe this is Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia to Fairies, I think is the title. I may have got that slightly wrong because it is a very long title, but I believe that's what it is. And I do have an arc of that book. I think it comes out on the 20th of January. I might be wrong. I don't think it's quite out yet, but I do have an arc and I'm planning to read it this month because it is on my TBR. But yes, look how gorgeous the fairy loot edition is. I'm so excited. So we have this gorgeous gorgeous book here which is by Heather Fawcett and it's Emily Wells Encyclopedia of Fairies and this has the purple cover so I think the standard hardcover has red instead of like this purpley colour so yeah truly gorgeous gorgeous sprayed edges I love these with the little mushrooms it's so cute but then we of course have these gorgeous end pages as well that look like this and more on the back but look at the naked book barely you have outdone yourselves look at this i am obsessed it looks like an old vintage book which i love it actually looks like an encyclopedia and on the back it says one cannot hope to understand the folk without understanding their stories and it has this design this is incredibly beautiful this is one of my favorite books fairy loot have ever done because look at it it quite literally looks like one of those old books you would find in like a secondhand bookstore or like an antique like it looks beautiful. I am absolutely in love with this copy and I hope this book is amazing because if it becomes a favourite of mine, I will be so unbelievably happy to own this edition. Like even more so than now, but it is signed, which as well is another bonus. But yeah, this book, oh, I'm just so excited. I believe it's about this girl and she is trying to write an encyclopedia about fairies. And then this guy arrives on the scene as well. Um, it's kind of like grumpy sunshine almost. And obviously she's kind of on the trail of all these fairies and their mystery but then she starts to delve into the mystery of her new acquaintance this guy who's appeared and yeah it has a bit of romance in there really nice world building and i'm just so excited to read this and i love fairy loot's edition so this one is from amazon and i did actually buy myself this right after christmas it was like a christmas present to myself so i was very kindly gifted book six and seven i think it was of this book so i got myself book eight which is zodiac academy sorrow and starlight this book is gonna put me through it guys this is gonna literally like destroy me i will be billing them for therapy because i know i'm gonna need it once i finish this book i've heard so many so many so many traumatic things about this book i've seen so many videos on tiktok of people crying reading this one and i'm only on book five and i already am crying and oh my god this book is nearly 800 pages long but the size of the font is tiny. Can you guys see this? Like that is some super small font. Like, are you joking? That is gonna take so long to read, but I'm still excited and I'm happy that I own this because I obviously own all of the books now, except for like the novellas. But yeah, I will be reading this this year because I am reading this series at the moment. I am excited to get to this, but also terrified. So yeah, 
mixed emotions about this one. And if you haven't read Zodiac Academy, would highly recommend. It's Harry Potter, but make it adult, make it bully romance, make it just incredible world building and just an incredible plot. You've got Zodiac Academy, honestly, highly recommend, absolutely love it. But next we have another Waterstones package. So I don't know what this one is. This could be a duplicate. That was good timing. We now have my standard hardcover of Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies, which is this one. So I now need three copies of this book. So yes, I'm obviously not gonna repeat what this is about because I've just spoken about it. But yeah, I have three copies of this now and I'm not complaining because they're all beautiful. So just for a little comparison, Fairy Loot, standard hardcover, which do we prefer? Both are very, very pretty. So yes, I do have two copies here and another one on my shelf already. So I better like this book. Okay, and next we have another Fairy Loot package, which again, I've pre-ordered so many things with Fairy Loot. I have no clue at this point what's coming and what hasn't. I, I don't know. Okay, so this looks like the Atlas Paradox with the Fairy Loot edition. Do I own the Fairy Loot edition of Atlas 6? I don't know if I do. I don't think I actually do. Do I? Okay, so I don't think I do own the Fairy Loot edition of Atlas 6. So I don't know why I bought this because like this does not match my other edition of the Atlas 6, which is the Illumicrate one and the signed hardback from Waterstones. So I'm probably gonna have to try and hunt down a copy of the Fairy Loot one to match this, but apparently I did pre-order it. Um, so yeah, we have the Atlas Paradox, which is the Fairy Loot one. It has these sprayed edges, which is really, really cool. I do like these. Um, and this is red. And then it has character art here. We also have some character art here as well. And under the dust jacket, it just says the Atlas Paradox. And it looks like this. And it's also signed by the author. I don't know if you can even see that, but it is signed. Um, so yeah, we have the Feral Edition of this book. And it's going to annoy me that I'll have this on my shelf and the first book isn't there to match it. Like, that will annoy me to no end. But yeah, for some reason I did decide to order this. Haven't read the Atlas 6 yet. Now I own three copies of the Atlas Paradox. Capitalism has me in a chokehold, let's be honest. Okay, and then we have our last book package before I get onto book merch. So this is obviously from Fairy, as you can see. And I believe this is Daughter of the Pirate King duology. And I'm excited because the sprayed edges for this book wow this is what sold me on it so i haven't read this book yet but i do own the first one in paperback but i'm obviously going to unhaul it now because i have the hardback i have heard so many things about this book both on booktube bookstagram and on booktok so i need to read it very soon maybe i'll read it this weekend because i am filming a weekend reading vlog and i feel like it would be a really fast read but we'll see maybe i don't know so yeah we have daughter of the pirate king which has the same cover as the paperback which has been released i know in the uk anyway it has the same cover and then we have a daughter of the siren queen which again has the same cover as the paperback does but these have like gold foiling on them which is really really pretty i don't know if you can really see that in the light but it's the sprayed edges that got me guys these sprayed edges are just something else i'm sorry i am obsessed i'm absolutely obsessed like just like look at the detail like my camera is not gonna do these justice but look at the level of detail in these sprayed edges i'm so obsessed i will definitely be facing them this way around because they are just absolutely stunning and yeah like fairly you just blow my mind every time do you have some character art on the end pages so this is in daughter of the pirate king so this is on this end. I don't know if there's any on the other side as well. Let's have a look. Yeah, so there is some more here as well. So it is signed, but I don't think this is meant to be this way around because this is upside down. Like the fairy loot logo. So I don't think it's supposed to be like that. But I mean, I think, I think it's supposed to be that way around. But mine's upside down. Oh no, is the rest of the book upside down? Okay, the rest of the book isn't, but that's kind of sad. So yeah, that happened. And then this is under the dust jacket which looks like this, which is really, really cool. And then we have Daughter of the Siren Queen. So this one looks like this here. And then the end pages look like this on this side, which is really, really cool. This one is also signed. Let's see if it's the right way around. <laughs> Please tell me this one is. Okay, so this one is the right way around. So there we go. It looks like this here. So yeah, really, really cool. So I don't know lots about these. I just know it's a YA and it's fantasy romance and it's supposed to be similar to Killer Kingdom, which I loved. I think that's by, 
I want to say Alexander Christo, but I might be wrong. But I loved that book when I read it a few years ago. So I feel like I will love this. And it's supposed to be Enemies to Lovers as well. Like, come on. Enemies to Lovers, you guys know, is my go-to. So I'm very excited for both of these books. I definitely am going to pick these up soon because... I just think I'm gonna love them and these editions are so pretty I'm just kind of sad that that page is upside down but it's cool it's all good <laughs> okay so that's it for all of the books I'm gonna go and grab the clothing haul I have because it is all bookish clothing which I I'm so excited. Like, I've been waiting and waiting. I have been stalking the tracking, stalking the postman <laughs> to find out when these were coming because I could not wait as soon as I ordered both of them. So I'm gonna go and grab those and I'll show you those. Okay, so one of them I'm already wearing, which is this hoodie here. So this is just a black hoodie. It's super comfy, I'm obsessed. Um, and it has every Sarah J Mass character's name all the way around which I loved because this is kind of like not too in your face bookish merch. It's kind of like simple. But yeah, it has all of my faves on it. So we've obviously got recent Feyre and it goes all the way around. And at the bottom you can see like Rowan. So yeah, and I think Bryce is on here somewhere. Where's Bryce? Yeah, we have Bryce here. So yeah, we have the whole Sarah J Mask universe on this hoodie. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I never want to take it off. So this is by a bookish company called Book Bay Co. I have featured them on my channel before and I have got a few things from them now. So I did place an order for quite a few items, which I'm gonna show you. Um, would highly recommend. I just love this hoodie so much. But I didn't stop there. I got three other things, so. I've had my eye on this for a while. I just think it's so funny. So this does also come as a jumper and a mug, but I got the t-shirt and it says, Surreal Tea, Spill the Tea like how funny is this so i got this i think in a medium because i like my t-shirts oversized um but yeah look how cool this is me and the surreal i feel like would be besties so i had to get this um, i just thought it was hilarious there is a mug and i think a jumper that says tamlin's tears on which i really want but i want it in a t-shirt and they didn't have the t-shirt when i was buying all of this stuff so yeah i do really want that in a t-shirt but the next t-shirt that i got was of course this one so again i got it in a medium to make it oversized and this is a recent t-shirt and it just has all this info about recent on it and yeah recent is my fave he's my ultimate book boyfriend i love him i would die for him um so yeah i had to get this like look how cool this is and again i feel like this is quite subtle book match you know it's not like in your face so obsessed with that and then lastly i did get another jumper so i got a crescent city one i've been wanting one like this for so long because i do have a crescent city jumper and it's by enchanted odysseys and it says light it up and it's very subtle again but i wanted one that said like crescent city on it or like crescent city university or something and there's so many on etsy but i finally decided on this one and i'm glad i did because so many jumpers on etsy are like really short and i like my jumpers to go past my bum so this one is like really long i saw in reviews people saying it was like really oversized which is exactly what i wanted so this is a crescent city one and i got it in this like whitish color um and it's like really really big i got this one in a medium as well because i want it oversized um so yeah it just says crescent city university on it which i thought was so cool i'm obsessed with it again we'll be living in that and then the last two things i got were from books no no age so i've ordered loads of dust jackets from them before and i have actually pre-ordered some very exciting dust jackets and something else as well so whenever that comes i will show you guys that in like a vlog i think it's probably going to come next month um and i also have some dust jackets on pre-order for akatar again i can't remember but i've got two more sets of Akatar dust jackets on order so yeah my bookshelves are crying right now i already own 10 different sets of Akatar books and now it's going to be 12 and when i can eventually get myself the juniper books ones it will be 13 but you know it's all good my favorite series of all time i am going to keep buying every set of dust jackets i can um but anyway that's besides the point i will show you those in a different video um so yeah these two items are from books no no age you all know I'm back in my Zodiac Academy era, obsessed with Zodiac Academy, particularly obsessed with Darius Arcrux. So, on that note, I did get myself this zip-up jumper, and I'm obsessed with it. So, this is the Darius one. They have them for so many different characters. So, it zips up, and on this side, we have the Zodiac Academy logo. I think this stuff is officially licensed as well, which is really cool. And then here it says Arcrux Fire Shield, and it has this, and it zips up, but the back has this on it which says Arcrux 
fire shield in big letters and I'm obsessed like it's just this like zip up fleece but I'm just obsessed with it like I love it so much and then the last thing I got was this hoodie which is just the Zodiac Academy logo I think I got this in a medium because I wanted it to be oversized or maybe I got a large no I got a medium so I would say the sizing is really like for both of these brands is really really like on point so I got a medium in this because I want it to be a bit oversized and it just is the Zodiac Academy logo and it has a hood so it's just a hoodie and it feels really soft i'm so excited to wear this like look how cool this is so yes this is all of my bookish merch that i got i am just so happy like i just love all this stuff i did get myself the bookish merch for christmas i used some of my christmas money i was very kindly given to buy myself all of these and i was so happy i love wearing bookish merch and i'm always on the hunt for more so if anyone knows any that's based in the uk that does particularly sarah j mass merch and zodiac academy please let me know because that is like the one thing i always will buy i'm trying to stop all these books are trying to fall oh my gosh please don't fall so yes if you guys have got any recommendations for places to get bookish merch from in the uk or any that you think i would love please do let me know in the comments because i'm always on the hunt for more i have another sarah j mass jumper on order that's on the way i think with enchanted oddities i love their stuff but they're so hard to get but yeah anyways let me know and I will, of course, link both of these businesses in the description box because I adore them, highly recommend, and I love this and just everything of the books I got as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this big unboxing with me and yeah, let me know if you've read any of the books that I mentioned in this video. Let me know what your thoughts were, but keep it spoiler free. Let me know what books you've recently hauled, what your favourite bookish stores are to shop at for really cool bookish merch. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It lets me know if you do like these type of videos and it does help me out. And if you did make it to the end of the video, leave a book emoji in the comments. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe because I do upload bookish videos every single week, which does include reading vlogs, book hauls, and lots of other things. So yeah, if you don't want to miss out, make sure you subscribe. <laughs> for those of you already subscribed but who are looking for extra content from me, you can head to my Patreon, which is linked down below. So on my Patreon, I have reading vlogs, I have extra videos, I also have hauls on there for clothing and homeware things and just general exclusive videos. I also do a monthly buddy read and a monthly readathon with my patrons and we do live shows, we have a discord and lots of other things. It's all over on my Patreon. So if you are interested in any extra content from me, that's where you can find it. And as always, all my other socials will all be linked down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all safe and well. I hope you're reading lots of good books and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Yeah.